Do you love the speed of Laravel sale? You can set up multi-sites like Homestead in just a few minutes. If you do not set up Laravel sale before, click the link above to set up. Type WSL in your terminal to start. Go to the Linux user's home folder and create the folder Proxy Manager. Get into the folder and create the Docker Compose file. Copy the content from my gist and paste it. Both HTTP and HTTPS are using default ports. Port 81 will be the admin page for configuring our Laravel sale sites. I assume you got less than 10 sites, SQL Lite is sufficient for us. Disable IPv6, since it is just for development. Save it then we are ready to boot it up. For more info about the container config, see the link in the description. Once the container turns green, we can log in on localhost colon 81. Follow the prompts and set up your admin account. Come back again later after booting up the Laravel sale web apps. Back to my user folder and go to my code folder. It is just my way to organize the projects, you are free to do it your way. Create the fresh Laravel sale project for the demo. CD into the project folder, then open with VS Code. Open .env file to add ports configuration. Copy from my gist and paste it. These are default services of Laravel sale. These ports cannot be conflicting for each container. Typically, port 49152 to 65535 are quite safe to use. In case of conflict, just alter your .env file. It is ready to sail up. The first Laravel sale project is now up, then second project. We are going to do the same as the previous project. Just need to make sure the ports are no overlapping. Sale up, the second project now. Good, no port is conflicting. Let me, sail down and demo if you are using an overlapping port. The app port is the same as the first project. Try to sail up. If you ever encounter a port that is not available or allocated, just alter your .env file. Quickly modify it and make project 2 up and running. Two projects are up and running. I just add some heading to differentiate project 1 and 2. Try out in the browser. Everything looks good for now. We can proceed for configuring the custom domains. Open Notepad with administrator right. Then open the host file. Define your custom domains. Then save the host file. We need to link up the custom domain now. Go to hosts. Proxy hosts, add proxy host. Input your custom domain. Docker desktop will always update your IP when launching, so we can use the host.docker.internal as the source host name. Finally, input the respective port number. Save it. Then complete the first domain. Same steps for the second domain. Make sure the domain name and port are correct. Click on the custom domain. Done. Like Homestead but with the speed of WSL2. For accessing DB, just connect to the port you assigned. Just connect the respective port, then you can manage the corresponding DB. Thanks for watching. 
please press the like button and subscribe to my channel and click the bell to turn on the new video notification. See you all soon. Thank you.